Good morning guys. I apologize for this weird lighting and my weird appearance this morning, but it is currently 4.56. So we are up bright and early getting ready to go to the almsgiving ceremony, which is a Buddhist ritual ceremony that occurs every single sunrise here in the Wang Prabang. And we weren't too sure if we were going to film going to the ceremony just because it is in fact still a very sacred ceremony and we don't want to be disrespectful or invasive in any way. So we've seen that this ceremony has become super popular for tourists to visit. I mean, when we were at the night market the other night, there was a huge sign advertising going with a tour group. So we definitely want to remain respectful and silent and keep our distance from the monks to not interfere with the ceremony. And we might get a few clips sitting across on the other side of the road. So the ceremony consists of monks coming down from where they reside in the temple and they walk through town every single morning accepting offerings of rice and different food items, I believe, that other Buddhist people or other local people provide to them. So that's actually the food that they take up to the temple and ration amongst themselves and eat for the rest of the day. So it's definitely an interesting ceremony and something that we wanted to check out, but we just researched a bit online to make sure that being a tourist and being a foreigner we were attending this respectfully so we are supposed to sit across the street and not interfere in the procession and make sure that we're sitting because it's disrespectful to stand above the monks and then I also heard that it was really popular for tourists to walk up to the monks and get in their face to try and get a good shot or a good picture of the monks and that is just also super disrespectful so this is the rest of the talking we'll be doing for this morning because we are getting ready to leave and walk and find the main street where this procession happens also as one more recap from what we know this is a buddhist tradition but it we believe it is specific to luang prabang which is the city we're in right now so we'll see definitely a pretty freaky experience being the only people on the entire road <laughs> in the dark <laughs> except for the chickens mm. so many chickens <laughs> So we're heading next, guys. Oh, 
three days. Okay guys, so we thought we would share with you our thoughts on the almsgiving ceremony. So I definitely had a lot of hope. I really didn't believe that tourists or foreigners would come and literally get in the faces of the monks and shove their cameras in their faces and use flash. I guess we knew that it was an issue and we should have known to expect it, but anyways, there's nothing that optical zoom can't fix. So we sat a distance away. We sat on the other side of the street opposite of the locals who were giving to the monks. And of course we used the zoom. You guys saw the clips. And we just try to keep our distance and remain respectful. A lot of people are asking us to buy sticky rice and participate in the ceremony. We just felt that that was inauthentic considering we're not Buddhists, we're tourists, we're visiting. And yeah, it definitely was pretty bad. We were towards the end of the street, so it wasn't as crowded and we were able to truly observe and appreciate the ceremony. But we saw at the end of the street, there was a swarm of tourists all in the faces of the monks. And to me, I just think that that's really disrespectful it was you know uh, pretty wild to see like Western dudes that are like 55 with a selfie stick sticking in the face of like a 10 year old Buddhist boy and I understand that we are tourists and we were there as well but we tried to remain distant and not interfere in the ceremony because it still is an authentic Buddhist ritual and ceremony and it's not just a tourist attraction and show and it's been going on for 700 years at this mm -hmm. point it's highly disrespectful respectful to stand taller than the monks as well. So we sat down, made sure we were completely silent and just tried to be very respectful. But there were countless other tourists that were not like us. We're not saying that we're perfect or anything. No. And we obviously were at the ceremony as tourists, but I don't know, I guess just think to yourself if this is your religion and your ritual and, and your life, would you want somebody like running up and shoving a camera in your face? Probably not. You can also do a little bit of research. We didn't really know which of the side streets because there's the main street where all the tourists flock to and then there's a bunch of side streets as well um, where there's supposed to be less tourists. But I thought maybe it was kind of a gamble if we would even see any monks if we just went exploring around the city. But if you wanted a super authentic experience, you could try that. Yeah. We also got there super early. Yeah, we did. But Anyways, that's our opinion, that's our take on the almsgiving ceremony. And now we are at a cafe, it's called the Joma Bakery Cafe, and it's literally on the street that we watched the procession. And they took card as a form of payment, so that's exciting. It's the first place in Laos that we have visited that has taken card this whole time. <laughs> White girls rejoice. Currently booking it up some stairs. <laughs> we'll see if we can make the sunset. Straight. Yep. Just one or two more steps. Hi guys, so it's been a minute since we caught up with you. We decided to head up to the Wat Thom Pha temple to catch the sunset and we were joined with about 100 other tourists. It was definitely a popular thing to do and it was a beautiful sunset and we got to overlook the whole city. Pretty cool to 
hike up the stairs. <laughs> Not. <laughs> but this Buddhist temple is really neat. It's one of the same ones that participates in the almsgiving ceremony that we attended this morning. And then now we are walking down stairs on the other side of the mountain. I almost just tripped. And heading over to a night market, I think. These stairs are putting us right out on the night market. I have some sort of pork dumplings. So, they come in these little cute boxes. All right, some sort of soy and I think garlic sauce. Incredibly delicious. Yeah, those are so good. And they're really cheap, they're only 7,000. They're 7,000 kip each. So I paid 14,000 for all of this. And we're sitting on a little balcony overlooking the food court in the night market. And then Matt ordered some random hot pot thing that's gonna come out soon. And I might have to go down and get more of these because I actually- And one for me, because those are good. Yeah, I actually really like them. And then, can I try that? Mm -hmm. This is by far the best beer ever. So we know that I don't love beer Lao, but- At all, it's the worst beer ever. But this is the- Luang Prabang beer, and we've heard good things about it, so... Oh yeah, that's really good. Our new Belgian friends, but it's the closest to a Belgian beer, and it's not wrong, it's very delicious. So, yeah, we're gonna enjoy some more street food. I hope you enjoy our inexperienced food tasting reviews. All right, so they just brought out like a bunch of ingredients pile of raw pork, a bunch of vegetables, and a pot with a burner. So I don't know if I'm supposed to make this myself or like what's going on with that. Okay, so apparently how it works is they just bring out the ingredients. I don't know like how I'm supposed to know this just randomly, but you wait till the clay pot is boiling of water and then you go ahead and you dump the pork in, leave it for about five minutes, put the vegetables in for about one to two minutes, and then there's like peanut sauce and oyster sauce, and then you mix garlic and chili in there in the sauce as well, and yeah, then you eat it. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I was like supposed to know that, but whatever. Alright, so taste test of my random street food that I got. I think it's called a hot pot and some peanut sauce. Oh my god, that was so good. 100% recommend. Insanely good. Patricia is headed for more dumplings. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We really love Luang Prabang and we love Laos. It's one of our most favorite countries we've visited so far. So the almsgiving ceremony was an interesting experience like we explained earlier and the sunset was absolutely beautiful. The weather here has been so nice and it's supposed to be like the end of rainy season. Yeah, we are incredibly lucky. Uh, we're in monsoon season, haven't seen a drip of rain in Laos at all. It's crazy. And we're really going to miss Laos um, mm -hmm. a lot, so we are leaving tomorrow. But we will see you tomorrow for an interesting travel day vlog. And yes. I hope <laughs> we're very nervous. <laughs> I hope you had a great day and talk to you later. Stop. <laughs> Subscribe now or else I will do nothing.